I'm going to try to cross uh, pollinate the uh, pollinate the female uh, cells myself, uh, flowers myself, because uh, well, I've only got these two plants, and I want to make sure that we get a pumpkin established here. And uh, I'm going to probably get it established on probably around where that flag is. There's a couple females there that are forming, and probably another foot or two uh, just up from this particular uh, vine. These are the two main vines coming off these plants. Like I said before, I think I've removed, I think, seven, maybe eight secondary vines already. I have all kinds of... Uh, Male flowers, those are all male flowers in there, or I should say uh, buds in there. And as soon as I get one open, if I've got a female open at the same time, I will pollinate it and get it going. Uh, well, we're getting late in the year, but we'll still get a good sized pumpkin. Uh, as the vine grows, as you can see up underneath there, I have uh, put uh, more uh, dirt and uh, compost and whatnot on top of the vine. I only do that because it anchors the vine for one thing. It'll grow another taproot and help feed these plants. Because it doesn't really matter so much right now, but as that pumpkin forms, uh, the more taproots that you can get on your vines growing, the uh, faster and more it feeds your pumpkins. A lot of people think all the nourishment comes from the uh, main part of the plant. It's not true. That's why it taps roots all along its own vine by itself. But when you put dirt on top of it, what usually happens is there's a secondary tap root comes up and it points back down into the ground and it makes another whole root system and whatnot. And it also keeps them from blowing around and blowing away. And as you can see, this plant is really taking off. Uh, hopefully we'll get a male flower and a female flower both opening up at the same time or with the close to each other anyways, enough so I can get some of the pollen from the male flower into the female flower and get something uh, pollinated the here. What I'm having right now is uh, I, I either have all kinds of female flowers and no male flowers coming, or now I have almost all the female flowers uh, closed up and I get all male flowers coming. I did have one small opportunity there. I meant to get it on film, but I didn't. Uh, I grabbed one male flower just before it was ready to open. It was almost ready to open, but I peeled back the uh, petals and I, uh, I tried to pollinate a couple female flowers and hopefully those took because, you know, it's getting so late in the season here. We're in uh, toward the end of July here to, uh, to be growing big pumpkins like this. I'm hoping to get at least something fairly good size and whatnot. I've got a couple male flowers at the other end of the patch opened up and a couple females ready to open up. They'll probably be open up tomorrow and I'm hoping uh, uh, plenty of bees around and whatnot. So uh, I'm hoping... Uh, uh, in the next couple days everything gets uh, processed the way it should be and uh, Mother Nature takes its course and after I see any pumpkins growing uh, like I said in a previous video uh, I'm probably only going to pick maybe two maybe three the kids want to do three the granddaughters because they want to pick one and they want me to have one so I guess we got a, our own little family challenge at the same time going <laughs> you know that goes with kids and whatnot they're doing a great job with this uh, but uh, anyways, enough of the update here, and uh, I'll go in and take a few uh, still shots and uh, of a few of this and that and see how it comes out. We'll catch you all later.